Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, we got one. We have one more job. We've got a burning desire. <laughs> we have one more job before going to uh, the bar, which is hopefully going to be right after this. I think that should be perfect timing. So this is not somebody that hey, called us. Hey you! I gotta get to a ripper. Man. Oh no, you gotta be kidding me! Is this? I'll pay you. <laughs> This is Jesse Cox. That is unbelievable. I didn't know he was in this. I knew Ko was in. I know uh, another streamer, <laughs> Nega Oryx, is in. Burst. What's what? <laughs> Mother Depends. What's wrong? What is going on? You serious? You want my patient history too? Wouldn't mind I just it. Just want to be sure it's no cyber psychosis or anything. No, it's a <laughs> Jesse Johnson. Oh, implant malfunction. <laughs> Happy? You helping me or what? Implant malfunction. I'm gonna help you. Absolutely. All right. Great. Why are we standing here? Burning uh, desire. To the car. Now. I gotta see what this says. That's the great thing about Night City. No chance you'll ever get bored here. Where else could you have some dude with a smoking crotch jump into your car asking to hitch a ride? Come on, V. Show some sympathy. Get this guy to a ripper before his dick explodes all over your dashboard. <laughs> Oh my God. And Jesse Cox, Jesse Johnson, his dick's on fire. This is absolutely perfect. Oh my God. I'm, I'm so jealous, man. That's amazing. Good for these guys. These guys are the big time. They deserve it. Come on, Jesse, let's go. Get in. Take the stress man to a ripper dock. Satisfaction guaranteed, they said. Let me guess. Mr. Stud XCV19 series. <laughs> yeah. How'd you know? Yeah, how do we know? I know my implants, including the black market stuff. Faulty series. Got recalled. Still selling it on the street, though. Hey. <laughs> Listen. Thanks for not laughing at me. Oh, Appreciate I would never. It ain't eat. Oh, my God. <sighs> oh. Just Whoa. our luck. <gasps> go, just go, mow him down. Chill, Chum. If that was kids. Sex. It forced us to stop. Chill. You tell me to chill. It burns. Whoa. Fuck, it burns. Oh my God. Chill. Doing what I can. Be what cool, I said buddy. To my output, she didn't like that too much. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on exactly? Like zapping him? You really gotta keep yelling like that. You even oh. know how much it hurts? Like what is that? Hold on. Oh, thievery. That's new. Client wants you to steal something there. Ruin a goddamn pencil sharp. Is that back into the left? Yeah, I guess. Okay. Well, suffer in silence, Chum. Heard what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Real fucking funny. Listen, bro, I'm doing my best. Smooth. Question mark over there. I can't. Oh my I god. Can't. I don't know if he's gonna make it here, like. There you go. Okay, we're hey, you after. I'll call you. But <laughs> What? I can't. Wait for a call from the distressed man. I can't. NCPD dispatcher calling in. Flaming All crotch NCPD man contacts. APB out for suspect accused of organized crime activity near Ross Street and Shipyard Way. Oh. Scavengers led by Yelena Sidorova, presumed armed and dangerous, have assaulted multiple homeless persons. Night City officials are offering a reward for neutralizing the threat. So this must be the one right in front of us then. Uh, okay. I suppose we could do that. Go to Dirty Fred's stash. That's the other thing that we're holding on to for later. It's far away. Wait for him. Psycho killers. Defeat all the opponents in the fight. Wait for lockdown. Guys, we are like... We are doing it. Now, are these guys going to attack me on sight? I did 
I wonder if we can just wreak havoc here. Let's do... So here's one thing I still don't quite get. Why is Breach Protocol blocked? Maybe it's just like not available on him or... Still don't quite understand that. I'm going to get all of these going. Mm, we're probably gonna have to throw down. Maybe. Let's do it. It's battle. Uh, this is silence. I did nothing to you. Over here. Just talking about how our ram reloads so fast, we rarely need to use it. Wow, dude, look at that. Level 10 street cred. All right. Golden chain, break that down. I don't know, maybe this wasn't the one that they called us about. Oh my god. We can ride the bike. I think we're gonna do it. Is there anything in here that we might need? Oh, it was, they were just... Destroying these guys. Oh! An arch! Okay. Oh, this is cool. We can actually see ourselves, too. So we're just waiting for Jesse to call back, right? So let's have a plan here it's 4 41 p.m so what we could do is uh just start heading back to where is it it's like somewhere in here isn't it side job ah here lizzie's bar yeah it's pretty far away so let's drive there and hopefully by then we're in a good spot Damn! Okay. What just happened up there? Oh, not this. Sorry. Hmm. Times like this, I was playing. Wish I was playing on a controller with the vehicles. Closed for now. It's open in an hour. 
Hmm. There's nothing like in the immediate vicinity. I guess, if anything, we can go and like clean up this assault while we wait. You high or what? No, I'm driving, bro. Just thugs, scavs. So he, now we can breach. Okay. Uh, vulnerability actually would be good. So let's go E9, BD. E9, BD, 1C, BD. And then let's just do a ping. Neutralize the perps and secure the evidence. Want to try and do this quietly, maybe? Oh my god. Whoa. I didn't even double tap there. You see how we, we jump right back? A friend of mine was saying that you can actually disable that in a uh, config edit. I might do it. But I think it might take away our dodging. Not that we really need to dodge. That's weird. That's suspicious. Air conditioner. I'm just checking to see what his peripherals are. It's not bad. Not great. Ah, uh, that was if bullshit. Oh shit. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. We're in trouble. Down, 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 down. Oh, I think the others got me. You know what? You're fucked, asshole. <laughs> yeah, they did. Oh, this is... I love these tech weapons, man. We gotta get a scope on this bad boy, though. Yes. 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 Devastating Berserk Cyberware mod. When Berserk is active, increases crit. When Berserk is active... Okay. Loose fit, synaptic accelerator, slows time by 30% for two seconds when you were detected by enemies. Cooldown is 60 seconds. Yeah. What does this go on? Is this just a straight up mod? New shard, euro dollars. Current inventory, Roaring Phoenix, Max Dog, Quartz, Aspis, Be Right Back, Black Lace, Karanos. This has got to be drugs, I presume? Mm. If we look at our cyber deck here, actually, that's not what I wanted. Our cyberware. So, target analysis. Smart link cyber required to enable smart targeting. I don't know how to get smart link cyberware. So, we might as well use this if that's not going to benefit us at all. Oh, it shows us here available mods. Hmm. So hold on. What is that then that we got? There's the Militech flathead we're holding. Raven control shards. We can issue commands to the flathead. That's cool. 
Cyber mod. Let's find new items here. Components. Can we just get like... Ah, uh, here we go. Berserk. Okay, so these are cyberware mods that we cannot use yet. Um, next time we go, we'll see what we're supposed to do to uh, get them to install the ones we already have. Hey, bro, you're not going to like what you find in there. Just, you know, heads up. You know what? Driving this bike is actually... It's mostly okay. Just like we planned. Alright, what time are we at? Okay, let's wait the half hour here. Uh, we can do an hour. Cool. Oh, flaming crotch man! Hey, it's, it's me, the guy who just gave us fourteen hundred bucks. You know, uh, the guy with the smoking crotch. That's one way to put it. <laughs> anyway, just calling to say I transferred the funds. Yeah, man. <laughs> you doing okay? Well, they manage. Uh, they save your, save your uh, Jesse's cox. You know. Yeah, much as they could. <laughs> At least the pain is gone. Anyway, once it heals, I'll get a better model. Oh, Something he still wants to do it. That's funny. Uh, yeah, why would you want to do it this time? Why the hell would you do that? Um, that's your question. Why does anyone get a Mr. Stud? To keep Splash back down at the urinal? <laughs> Forget I asked. See All right, you. man. That's awesome. So cool. All right, guys, we've been working towards this for a while. We're finally here. Looking a little put out there, input. Interest you think? You in a preem BD? Oh, uh, rain dance. What's good? What do you got? What don't we got? Women and men of your dreams. Synaptic acting A-listers. No washed up virtue porn boy toys or blow up dolls here. Is that right? Oh, turf stuff. It'll grip your heart and blow your nerves right out of your body. Pure bit-based ecstasy. That's why people come here. Clearly know how to sell it. Not a sales pitch. It's a warning. I'll give you one word. Bespoke. Not for everyone's synapses. Think you can handle it? Wait, are they both named Mox? <laughs> oh, yeah, we can handle it. Bespoke? Damn, that sounds promising. I get it. I'm in. Couple of things you need to know first. <clears throat> Severe penalties for any unauthorized recording. Oh, it's No drugs, no groping. Someone catch your eye? Anti-piracy. You grab them. You find them in the catalog, ask for a BD, and get yourself a box. I really look that green to you. Like I don't know. Yeah, seriously. Mm-hmm. Look Doors at us. Open. We've been dressed in like pimp attire. Welcome to Lizzie's. Thank you. My. We're in a what safe a area. Cool. Don't see that very often. Oh, right. Mox is a gang. So it's weird that it would say their names are Mox. All civilians. Kiss my dead spunk. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, sure. I mean, I guess that's what we're here for. Damn. Yeah, Sit at the bar and ask about Evelyn. Yeah, we will, but, uh, you know. Gotta, gotta recon the place, obviously. Oh, you even get that slight delay that can happen in clubs where uh, back you're really days. far from the speakers. But you have extra sets. Am I allowed to, like, be in here? Just walk into the DJ booth? That's sick. Hmm. 
Everybody says Mox. I guess, yeah. We really are safe to do whatever we want here. Might have just stolen her tips. Vampire Prince is back. Monster Hunters Beware. Turbo Dracula is a dark, gritty, visceral action game experience. Oh, cool. Where you play as a plasma thirsty prince and puncture wounds himself, Dracula. He's risen again, this time as a digit clone in a body of chrome, but his appetite for blood hasn't waned one bit. Assisted by the descendants of an ancient bloodline, he wages war against the sinister Helsing Corps, headed by the Demon Brothers Manchester. They aim to take over the world with the help of genetically spliced werewolf zombies. Dracula must face difficult choices such as whether to resurrect his old friend Viago or to transmutate into his nemesis. Polished real-time combat system and non-linear storyline <laughs> offer the player deep immersion in single player, while the multiplayer mode allows you to team up with your Chumbas as they take control of the brooding Varney or blood or blonde fan favorite Herbert without spoiling any of the endings. Yes, multiple endings. I'll leave you with this one thing. Lady Carmilla Ruthven Batori is hands down the most captivating character ever written in the 100-year history of video games, period. I'm impressed. I don't know if this is a reference to, like, a current game, but they got all the lingo down for sure. One thing I really like Those is that they don't have, like, here. a... Uh, there's always next year. They don't have like a stealing system. No, don't cry. You got this doll. Sure. Don't cry. Sure. Got bathrooms, no future. It's dark. Oh, a private mm. private pooper. What is that? Mm. All right, let's get to it. There's even another level? Hold on a second. Oh, rooftop access. All right. This is... <laughs> Just so excited to like, be able to walk around and not be shot at 24 seven. Night City Nightlife, drinks, dancing, and debauchery. If you're a dance head like us, don't miss out on Lizzie's. You'll find no better brain dance club in the city, no matter how deep you dig. Modern boxes, solid tech, but most important, the catalog. Chock full of nearly any experience you can imagine. You'll find everything you need to get you off. Fast or slow, nasty or classy, and everything in between. Don't let the girls at the front door scare you off or kill your buzz. They're wary of newcomers, but once you get in, they'll treat you like one of their own. Trust us. Give Lily Lizzie's a try, and you'll never go anywhere else. Now, the afterlife? That's a different story. Sure, you can cut loose and have a good time here, but the afterlife is a place of business above all else. Want to meet with a fixer about a job that needs doing? Discuss important gig details with a client over drinks? Or maybe just sit back and people watch to see the comings and goings of the Night City Underworld biggest merc and fixer names. The afterlife's a great place for all of the above. The only place, really. And if you're looking for the city's marquee events, you'll find yourself at Riot. Chart-topping playlists, live performances from the brightest stars, both local and from around the world, DJ battles, unique music shows, and media-packed album premieres. Sound like you're seen? Don't miss out on Riot. Okay, so we learned about the few party places. Let's keep going. What else? Slavoj McAllister in the news again? Pompous asshole or eccentric genius acclaimed rocker boy Slavoj McAllister uh, has ruffled feathers yet again following his most recent performance at nightclub Totentans. While a rock concert brawl is no big news in itself, several unofficial sources allege it was McAllister who instigated the violent outbreak after hurling a tear gas container at paparazzi in the crowd. Below the, or before the booze-fueled melee got heated, the Cartisan Duelists premiered new songs, Cybernetic Soul, Mind is Freedom, and Cogito Ergo Sum, which, as usual, have critics divided. Lyrically, the new singles touch on issues such as the internal struggle of body and mind, the limitations of our senses, and the search for absolute truths. Some critics consider the new material pseudo-intellectual drivel. Others praise the band's fresh, innovative spin on the genre. Beyond the brawl, even the McAllister's headlines are making headlines. When asked in an interview with N54 News what the cryptic title of the track Cogito er Ergo Sum meant, Rockerboy replied, he ain't revved by questions from gonk brain frauds. What are you? <laughs> 
Despite the, or perhaps thanks to the numerous controversies ever swirling around the Cartesian duelist frontman, his popularity continues to swell. The band's new album is slated for a release soon. And if you believe the chatter on the net, it will be entitled War of Truths. All righty. Watch yourself. Hey. Hey, Matteo. Get you something. Uh, hey, yeah, Lizzie still work here? So, curious. The name Lizzie's. Is that the owner? Not for a long while, no. And it's none too sweet a story. Now I'm hmm. just flat interested. Real Lizzie ran a strip joint out of this place back in the day. Lizzie's bar. Okay. Girls were paid right, insured, even had decent security. Good spot, all in all. Uh, well, until. Let me guess. It didn't last? No. Tiger Claws took care of that. Fucking Tiger Claws. Tiger beat one of Lizzie's girls real bad ones. No hesitation, Lizzie blasted the guy's balls off. The gang came back the next day. Liz was done. Tigers gave this place up to the Mox in the end, though, didn't they? Sort of. The Moxes had to make a deal with them. Luckily, they kept their heads organized quick. Big boss now is Susie Q. But the sign stayed up, out of respect. And biz booms to this day. Cool. Uh, the Tiger Claw guys, I think was the faction that was around the guy that was making the like snuff well, films that we took out recently we stuffed in the back of a trunk I'm looking for Evelyn Parker you know if she's here who's asking <laughs> a big tipper oh this is like uh cool the cool stat uh you gonna say something now let's see. Big tipper. Generous when I get the answers I'm looking for. Appreciate the gesture. Truly. But afraid I don't get paid to talk. Oh, Opposite. cool. It's all right, Mateo. I was waiting for this one. Oh, is this her? Hello. No, don't cry. Evelyn Parker. Nice to meet you. I knew it was you as soon as you walked in. Was it my clothing that gave me away? Since on, only tequila I drink. <laughs> <laughs> how would you know? Oh, look how like, like wobbly we get. About the people I work with. Either that or it was just a lucky guess. So why meet here? Why we meet in here? Any particular reason? Actually, it doesn't seem much like your thing, this place. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. Come on. Pretty no place we can talk presumptuous right of us. Prick up to listen. We'll be in the lounge, Mateo. Anyone asks, we're not here. See you, Mateo. Nice meeting you, buddy. So, nothing. What wrong. can a horny really? girl like? Why don't you just tell me the truth? Fuck to death. Wow. Oh, hello. It's not a bad, uh, not a bad little meeting room. Dex so? had a load to say about you. Called you professional, effective, and trustworthy. I hope he wasn't overselling. Well, uh, to be fair, yeah, we don't know him well. Haven't worked together that long at all. No idea if Dex exaggerates. A little, a lot. You got me. Just started working with him, in fact. I've heard there are two kinds of fixers. Those with stable crews on long contracts and short leashes. Loyalty and predictability they value above all else. Then there's the other kind. Dex's kind. So what, you're saying he's not loyal? <laughs> I don't get the vibe that he's predictable. Come on. Can't leave that hanging. Headhunters. They lay their trust elsewhere. Not in people, but in a thing. Their intuition. They bet on potential. And if they lose that bet... It's the last mistake they ever make. I'm hoping Dex's intuition 
has served him well in this case. Okay. So what do you have in mind? Let's cut to the chase. What do you got for me? Your target. I trust you know what it is. Relic. Secure your soul trinket. Key tech in the program, actually. We're tangling with Arasaka, making this heist one dangerous, risky motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Arasaka's poured billions into personality transfer technology. But me, I just want the data on this one. The chip mm -hmm. is tucked away inside Compeki Plaza, the hotel. You ever been? Uh, no. Never had the opportunity. You know, just never rolled through that neighborhood. Damn shame. The fresh they serve is sinfully good. Chef must have made a deal with the devil. So where's this chip hiding exactly? In a suite on the top floor. <sighs> of course. The room's occupied by Yorinobu Arasaka. Yorinobu Arasaka? He's in town? Wait, is he the, Did you read the like, scream sheets? The media president, CEO? Enough of Yori coming to Night City. It was all over the headlines. Anyway, he's heir apparent to the Arasaka Empire. So oh. Arasaka's only surviving son. What? So Arasaka Jr.'s planning to grab the reins while in Night City? Only a handful of people in Night City know what the Arasaka's real plans are. Tell me you're one of them? Hmm. Got an army around him, I bet. Yeah. Is he the target? So we're not jumping the corp. We're jumping Yorinobu Arasaka himself. <sighs> Yorinobu is a puppet. He lost all his cards years ago when he failed to do daddy's bidding. Saburo's had Yuri's balls in a vice for years. He might just turn the screw and crush them outright if he learns his son's up to no good again. And he's probably surrounded. Top dog like Yorinobu's bound to have an army on call. Hotel's probably a goddamn fortress by now, too. Yorinobu keeps exactly no hustle around. Not one what? card. Got rid of them a long time ago. Huh. Why is that? Surely you know what they say about Arasaka Into. Sneeze no. in Night City, and a blossom drops from a cherry tree in Tokyo. Yorinobu was convinced his Arasaka security detail reported directly to his father. Huh. So they basically think, like, nothing gets past their intel. So why would he need bodyguards? If, they were, if something was going to happen, they would know about it. I'm waiting. Look, if you've got any spare aces up your sleeve, now's the time to show them. Now, this should make your prick perk up. Yorinobu recently swiped the chip from an Arasaka laboratory. He's made a deal with Netwatch. Aims to sell it to them. Have you spotted my ace yet, or do I need to spell things out? You want us to intercept this thing, don't you? Wait, neutral Netwatch is mixed up in this. Netwatch provides net security for all corporations. Okay. And collects eddies in the millions for it. But in this day and age, everyone's in the game. And no one can afford to be a saint. To win, one has to go all in. So what's your Nobu slated to get in return for this thing? So what's your Nobu do to walk away with? Unimportant. You focus on the biochip. <sighs> What could cyberspace's watchers and protectors offer him? Intelligence on his enemies? That doesn't matter in the least. That kind of matters. You make sure the transaction never happens, and I get the chip. The motivation is kind of important. So where does he keep the relic? Fine. So no Arasaka security on the device, because Yorinobu whisked it away in secret. Now, where's he hiding it? Well, likely in a specialized container. One that mimics an organic neural environment. On the outside, it looks like an ordinary briefcase. Okay. Cases. You'll see for yourself soon enough. So Provided it looks like an ordinary briefcase. What's on this relic? One more thing. Data that's on the chip. What is it? Irrelevant entirely. Lies. We're talking about data. Yorinobu <laughs> snuck out of Arasaka. What's more, he wants to pass it on to Netwatch. Sounds pretty damn relevant to me. Listen, V, the relic. That's my concern. Your concern? Earning a paycheck. Just get the job done. I'll make sure your bank accounts are sated. And what else do you know about Yori Arasaka? What else do you know about Yorinobu? 
Quite a bit, actually. He studied finance and biotech in Tokyo. <laughs> Probably didn't have a choice in the matter, come to think of it. Saburo was grooming him to be his successor. But then Yorinobu vanished to chase his own dreams. Cut himself off from the corp for years. Long story short, though the black sheep returned, the bitter okay. taste remained. Okay. But Maybe we can... that's only one side of him. There's another. An intelligent man who has always walked his own path. And so has his own designs on the corp. Okay. So you think he's got a taste for power? Like, is that the ultimate goal Could here? Be another power-hungry corpo dick, like so many others. <laughs> Ever tried to imagine what life might be like for an emperor's son? You have everything, yet you are no one. Nothing. Yeah. At least as long as you remain in Saburo Arasaka's shadow. Totally true. I sympathize. It's a vulnerability I understand well. Wait, why is that? And one you plan to exploit fully. Okay, so what's okay. next? What's next? Now comes the best part. Follow me. Got something for you. Should help you plan. Brain dance from Compeki Plaza. Oh, How's we're gonna have our first brain dance. Need facts, not thrills. <laughs> I think oh, are only sick. Good for fondling virtual tits, jacking off to in those boxes. No. Hey, we weren't finished. I'm not. I didn't leave you. I just, you know. God. Okay. Oh, this is perfect. The legacy of Arasaka needs no introduction. The Arasaka Corporation is one of the world's most powerful, with offices located in every major metropolis across the globe. For years, it's been behind the proverbial wheel of our planet's economy and society. The history of Arasaka in Night City is deserving of its own article, but suffice to say, the media industry in our city follows the family behind the megacorp as closely as they do share prices. The story of the Arasaka family is one of empire, a true dynasty under the rule of patriarch Saburo Arasaka. Uh, rumors of the great Saburo's retirement and session of company control, as well as its closely guarded secrets to his daughter, Hanako, and son, Yorinobu, have come and passed in recent years. But has the time come where such rumors may finally contain a grain of truth? I mean, presumably, he can't live forever. Our sources report that Yorinobu Arasaka is currently in Night City, but not for a social call. And yet, if Yorinobu is strategizing a move for the throne, what of Hanako, the sister? Experts who follow the family closely unanimously agree that due to ideological differences between Sabur Saburo and Yorinobu, Hanako will likely cement herself as a one true heir to the immense fortune and power to the Arasaka family. However, reality is hardly ever so predictable. Familial power dynamics can shift in an instant. For example, what would happen if Hanako fell from favor at a time when Yorinobu had his father's ear? In scenario might cause oh and, and what scenario might cause such a fall huh no felon started secrets in the air sockets are no exception after all what appears first as heaven appears second in hell all right guys i'll tell you what let's take a break here i imagine a brain dance we're going to start going pretty deep and that's going to be super cool super pumped about it uh so a little bit of a cliffhanger but let's wrap it up here we learned a ton about Arasaka. We know now what the son is trying to do. Um, we don't know exactly what his motivations are, but it seems like ultimately he wouldn't mind kind of being the uh, the leader of Arasaka Corp, but his dad's in the way and his sister's in the way as long as his dad's alive, most likely. So kind of interesting. We'll see where this goes, but uh, call me intrigued. And can I just say, like, I feel as if this world that is crafted here all the quests, the way that things have gone. I'm, I don't know if I'm just in the right headspace, whatever, but I feel like I'm like in it. I'm like so immersed. I just don't want to stop. It's insane. Uh, thank you guys so much. I hope you're enjoying the ride. We'll see you very soon, okay? Bye for now.